So uh, I sort of married into the family. Um, my husband, Mike, his father, Gordon, and his father, Herb, were the two people that started it. And well, Herb came in 1947, and it used to be Cloverleaf Dairy. And then they continued the dairy operation for a couple of years, but then concentrated just on Bobble Velvet ice cream. And after he graduated from University of Wisconsin, he reformulated the ice cream recipe to his standards. And then Mike's dad continued that, and that's still the recipe we use today. So I'm the third generation, fourth generation, fifth generation. soon to be fifth generation. <laughs> Both of my parents are here, my mother, Kathy, and my dad, Mike. Uh, his brother is here, so that's my uncle. And then my brother is working here. My sister was working here. And I have a couple cousins that work here, filtering from time to time. So it is still quite familial. At least five out of 10, half the people I say, like that I am a part of Apple Velvet too, they'll be like, oh, wow, yeah, I buy your grocery store, your ice cream at the grocery store, you know, like it would always be a treat for our family to splurge on the Apple Velvet. So I'd always have. I don't know, growing up and just even to this day. So we have all the different chairs and every time I see like a group of kids coming in, they'll sit at like three different tables because there's different chairs or that match their flavor. Oh, it's like they're musical like, chairs the when they oh, come I in. Chair. I want them to be like, that's that place that I love. So when that door squeaks, which it does every time it opens and a kid comes running in, that's the highlight of our day. We make it from the very beginning from scratch. A lot of places will buy an ice cream mix or use water or milk as their first ingredient where our first ingredient is cream, so that means it's the most plentiful. Just because we're making ice cream, there is a lot of dairy aspects to it too. We do the pasteurization and the homogenization. Besides all of our wonderful ice cream flavors, uh, we make frozen yogurt, sherbet, sorbet, um, the frozen yogurt and the sherbet, they are lower in fat content, but they still contain dairy. Um, but our sorbet is vegan friendly. First of all, my mom pretty much like came up with our, our whole sandwich menu and we make homemade soups. Um, you know, we try and have like certain specials on certain days, but a lot of days we just, there's things on a whim. It's based on what we have fresh and what we have available in our kitchen and stuff. I take a lot of pride in the fact that we can use local ingredients whenever we can and partner with other businesses and so we try really hard to get whatever we can locally. I would say we distribute in about a two hour radius from here. My son and my brother-in-law do all the delivering or my husband. So we just have about three trucks so wherever we can deliver it is where we go. I feel we're pretty unique in the way that we do hire high school kids and it's usually their first job. And I'm grateful that they can get a first job because I think it's hard to get your first job. Um, that's probably the biggest reward of our job is the relationships that we make with these kids. To see someone that I knew back you know, in the 80s come back with their kids and their kids is pretty magical. That is my favorite part of this job, seeing multi-generations come through here. I'm Kathy Brown. I'm Katie Brown. <laughs> and we're from Valpo Velvet Ice Cream Shop, and we are at 57 Monroe Street, downtown Valparaiso, and we hope you come visit us. <laughs>